about Amerigo is that it puts me in a really, really good balance. And because of the number of different styles of Amerigos, it suits all the different horses that I have. Hi, my name is Lauren Billies. I'm from California and I'm a West Coast eventer. I grew up in Visalia, California, which is a small farm town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I kind of grew up backyard riding and never knew that I'd be riding in international three-day events, but I'm excited to be here now. I've been mostly California-based my whole life. I got my first horse from the local classifieds, um, it's like a really penny saver kind of magazine, and grew up riding bareback in the orchards behind our riding facility. So um, it's been an amazing experience getting to here, getting here and getting to know all the people in the eventing community. I um, have gotten to travel back east a couple times through college, and I think that's where my love for the sport really started to grow. I got to go back east with Molly Kinnam, who's now Molly Kinnaman, um, who found me my horse that I have now competing at the advanced level, Bowling Gallon Ginger. So um, I've gotten to do a lot, of, a lot of different things, and I graduated college a, a year and a half ago, and I ride for the Puerto Rican equestrian team. My grandmother's Puerto Rican, and I never um, really thought that, you know, I first didn't know I'd get to do international competition and, and now I get to do international competition on an international stage and so riding for Puerto Rico has been an amazing opportunity that gives me the lends me the chances to go to games such as the Pan American Games, hopefully in 2015, as I've already gone in 2011, and hopefully in the Olympics in 2016. I have um, three horses that are currently going. Balan, Gowan, Ginger, um, and a one-star horse named Jitterbug, who I've had for the last two years, and a third horse that I recently acquired through the Purdy Syndicate, and his name is Castle Larchfield Purdy. He's a um, really neat Irish sport horse gelding, who I'm riding this weekend at Valley Downs at the CCI two-star level. In 2011, I got the really unique and rare opportunity to go to the Pan American Games. The Pan Ams were a two-star, and it was my first year competing at the two-star level, so uh, I got to go and represent Puerto Rico as one of their first eventing competitors ever at the Pan American Games. It was um, an amazing opportunity, not only because I got to go to Guadalajara, Mexico, fly on a plane with my horse, but my community and friends and family raised all the money for me to go. Puerto Rico, because it's a smaller country and it's just a developing FBI country for um, they're really their venting scene. I had to go out and reach out to my community and raise funds to go to take myself, my horse, my coaches, and my veterinary staff. So getting to go there was a really amazing experience and also a culture shock for me, getting to meet riders from all around the world and, and finding out how they do it. It's so different. Um, we are so fortunate here. We ride these beautiful horses that are trained to go the upper levels. Maybe they've even gone the upper levels. And a lot of my friends that I met there we're pulling horses out of pastures and teaching them how to jump and taking them to the Pan American Games. So for me, it was a really amazing experience to meet a lot of amazing people and um, it's a really rich, rich cultural experience for me. Not only that, but just an amazing competition atmosphere. You know, it was not, when I got there, I got to meet all these people, which I never expected. And then even greater than that, I got to ride in front of so many people as well. And so walking around my Starbucks for 35,000 people out cross country, I wasn't just thinking about myself or my horse not all the people watching, but about my friends and family who really were the ones who got me there and, and gave me this opportunity of a lifetime at such a young age and, and really as such a green rider to the two-star level. So it was experiences like that that made me so excited about what the future has to hold, not only for myself, but the people that have supported me and that we can go and have these rich experiences together. That's why I'm so excited about this new horse that I have, Purdy, because he's syndicate owned and as much fun as I had at the Pan American Games, I believe so many more people can have that much fun with me and come alongside to, to receive those experiences. So it was really when I came home from the Pan Ams that I asked myself, and I think me, me and Derek DeGrazia, who were my coaches as well, we all asked each other, what can we do to try and do more of this? And so um, I can't wait to go back. I'm hoping to go next year in 2015 and, and hopefully qualify for the Olympics to go in 2016 as well.